Tech in 5. Python in practice, master real-world projects in 5 minutes. In just 5 minutes, learn how to connect to Mistral AI. Ready to enhance your AI capabilities? In this video, we're exploring new horizons by connecting to Mistral AI with Python. Get ready to harness another dimension of AI capabilities. Let's dive right in. First, navigate to the Mistral AI console. Here, you'll find the Create New Key button. Click it, and your new key will be generated. Remember, this key is your access to Mistral AI's API, so keep it private and secure. When it comes to Mistral AI, there are several models to choose from, each with its own strengths and capabilities. Let's take a look at two of them. First, we have Open Mistral 7B, also known as Mistral Tiny. This is a smaller model, designed for faster inference and lower resource usage. It's perfect for applications that require quick responses and don't need the full power of a larger model. On the other hand, we have Mistral Large Latest. This is the largest Mistral AI model, with the most parameters and the greatest capacity for handling complex tasks. It's ideal for applications that require high accuracy and can handle the increased resource usage. Choosing the right Mistral AI model depends on your specific needs and requirements. Whether you need a smaller, more efficient model or a larger, more powerful one, Mistral AI has you covered. Now, let's dive into the code and see how we can use the Mistral AI API to generate chat completions using the Mistral AI service class. First, we import the necessary libraries and modules. We import the OS library to retrieve environment variables and the Mistral client module to interact with the Mistral AI API. We also import the chat message class from the chat completion module, which we'll use later to create chat messages. In the init method of Mistral AI service, we create an instance of the Mistral client class and set the API key from the Mistral API key environment variable. We also set the model attribute to Mistral large latest, which is the model we'll be using for our chat completions. We then define a method called simple completion which takes a list of chat messages as input and returns a chat completion generated by the Mistral AI API. We create a chat response object by calling the chat method with the messages and model attributes set to the input messages and the model attribute, respectively. We then return the chat response object. Finally, we define a method called simple completion test, which is a simple test function that sends a chat message to the Mistral AI API and prints the response. We create a list of chat messages with a single message, where the role is set to user and the content is set to, say, this is a test. We then call the simple completion method with this list of messages and print the resulting chat completion. Now that our test has been successful, let's take a closer look at how to use the Mistral AI API for generating chat completions. Now, let's talk about the messages field in the input. The Messages field is an array of objects, where each object represents a message in the chat conversation. Each message object has two properties, role and content. The role can be either system, user, assistant, or tool. The system role is used for system messages, while the user and assistant roles are used for messages sent by the user and the AI assistant. The content property specifies the text content of the message. Let's take a look at the response from the Mistral AI API for chat completions. The response is an object with a choices property, which is an array of objects representing the possible chat completions generated by the AI. Each object in the choices array has a message property, which is an object representing the chat message generated by the AI. The message object has two properties, role and content which are the same as the properties in the input messages array. And that's it. You now know how to use the Mistral AI API for chat completions. With just a few lines of code, you can generate human-like responses. With this powerful tool, the possibilities for creating engaging and interactive conversational experiences are endless. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. Stay tuned for more videos on Tekken 5.